Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, is telling stories about her life as a mother and her marriage to Prince Harry in a new podcast on Spotify. The first episode of Archetypes features an interview with Meghan's friend, their very good friends, Serena Williams. It's her first in-depth interview since announcing her plans to retire from tennis. The two women discuss everything from their careers to motherhood, including a brush with danger. It was just minutes after this 2019 speech in South Africa that Meghan Markle says she and Prince Harry learned about a frightening incident involving their son Archie, who was traveling with them at the time. We finish the engagement, we get in the car and they say, there's been a fire at the residence. What? There's been a fire in the baby's room. What? Megan shared the story with Serena Williams during her podcast, Archetypes. The Duchess said the baby was thankfully with his nanny at the time. Her instinct was like, let me just bring him with me before I put him down. In that amount of time that she went downstairs, oh my God. Oh my the heater gosh. in the nursery caught on fire. There was no smoke detector. Someone happened to just smell smoke down the hallway, went in, fire extinguished. He was supposed to be sleeping in there. Despite the close call, Meghan says she and Prince Harry still had to carry on with their royal duties. Everyone's in tears, everyone's shaken. And what do we have to do? Mm. Go out and do another official engagement. And I said, this doesn't make any sense. Can you just... Uh, why did you not bring him? I was like, can you just tell people what happened? And so much, I think, optically, the focus ends up being on how it looks instead of how it feels. Throughout the conversation, both Meghan and Williams talk about the challenges of motherhood. Williams recalled playing a match at the 2018 French Open after being up all night with her daughter, who had a broken wrist. I somehow managed to win, but I was so emotionally spent and just like so emotionally drained that it was, it was crazy. And, you know, and then like every night after that, I just was with her the whole time and was like, you're going to be with me. And I just took a lot on, but. Moms do a lot. People should expect the real me in this. And the 12-episode podcast explores female stereotypes, with this episode centering on the word ambitious. I don't ever remember personally feeling the negative connotation behind the word ambitious until I started dating my now husband. And um, <laughs> apparently ambition is a terrible, terrible thing. For a woman, that is, according to some. That feeling was part of Meghan's decision to speak with Williams. The 23-time Grand Slam champion recently announced her retirement from professional tennis in a Vogue magazine article. I was just sitting in the hotel at the desk, just typing and, and deleting and typing and thinking and then crying and sitting at my computer and tears streaming down my face as I'm writing these words and going back on these memories. And it was just like... God, it was it was really hard. Now, the tennis legend says she's looking forward to focusing on what she considers her best role, that of mom. You know, obviously I'm retiring professionally, but it's also an evolution. I'm mm -hmm. I'm doing more business things and I really want to expand my family and you know, I've been putting it off for so long and as a woman there's only mm -hmm. so so long you can put that off. I love listening to Icons talk. Uh, Jamie, I have a question. Forgive me for not grasping the idea why being ambitious is bad for a woman. Well, I think, you know, as a woman, when you're in the room, I think if a guy has an idea or goes forward and or is even upset about something or is trying to right a wrong of another coworker or something, they're ambitious and they're climbing the ladder. If I, as a woman, do that, I'm looked at as somebody who's, you know, a problem. Mm -hmm. you, you need to be nice. Calm gotcha, down. Gotcha, and I think okay. it's that idea, you know, and a lot of women are people pleasers and you kind of get into that role of, okay, I'll just keep my head down. I'll do the job, you know, that I'm, I'm sent here to do, but I don't want to push too far. I don't want to say too much. I don't want to be too angry, right. um, you know, and come off in a certain way. Sometimes I got you. you use different words for it, right? Like ambitious is a man and pushy is the girl. Pushy, yes, that's yeah. I've heard that a, a man lot. Man is ambitious. He's passionate about what he does. We yeah. see that a lot in sports as well. He's a I love an ambitious geez. woman. Yeah, you know, exactly. an ambitious woman. I, there's nothing wrong with that in my eyes, but I hear what you're saying, though, for sure. Well, I appreciate that, and we need guys to feel that way.